huge fan of figuring out the situation that works best for you for working out, training, whatever that is. And for some of you, it's working out at home. Now, let's say for instance, home, gym, whatever it is, you're trying to expand upon your single leg strength motions, whether that's through lunging, single leg squats, single leg deadlifts, or anything around, the around those lines, the split squat is probably going to be one of your best variations, right? So we're going to break down the split squat by itself before introducing or talking about a rear elevated. The more complex you make something, the harder it is to get the strength benefits out of it. But as you start to increase points of contact changes, whether it's rear foot elevated and that shifts your center mass, the level of complexity and the more you get out of it also grows. So for a split squat here, we're gonna to try to keep it super simple. This is a lunge without moving. Typically we see a lunge as a forward lunge, right? Or a back lunge in which there's some sort of translation piece. So for a split squat, you're basically gonna step forward, step back. You're gonna come up on your toes on the backside and from here, we're just gonna to try to simply go straight down. Right now, after a few reps, you might have to wiggle around and kind of find that groove of what feels best, but this is essentially the motion. Oftentimes, you might find that you're too narrow if you're if that knee's coming too far forward and it's creating some discomfort. Knees forward is not wrong, but it might be too much discomfort for you. And or if I'm too spread out when I'm coming down, I'm finding way too much stretch in that hip flexor, and I'm just too and, and I'm getting too much um, stretch between the hamstrings or hip flexors as opposed to just being able to go straight up and down. Now, as I'm doing this, I'm trying to maintain most of that weight in that front foot because that's the working foot, is that front side. So then the expansion of that for complexity would be adding weight. We could do just weight simply on the side here. You could do a single arm either side, a front rack, right? You could even do overhead if that suits your needs and your programming. So with any movement, there's obviously ways that you can challenge the complexity of it, more sets, more reps, more weights, whatever that is, but this is the basic movement pattern for a split squat to help you start to expand upon your single leg strength outside of just a lunging pattern.